St. Luke in the Acts of the Apostles sees the death of Stephen the deacon and the persecution that follows, not as the end of the church, but as a new beginning. The church of Jerusalem prospered after Pentecost, then suddenly a major disaster. But Luke sees God bringing about something new from all of this. On the Chalian Hill in Rome, on the road from the Basilica of Saints John and Paul to the Basilica of Saint John Lateran, there's a round church dedicated to Saint Stephen, San Stefano Rotondo. It was built at the beginning of the fifth century when barbarian armies were sacking Rome. So, so why build a church then? I think it was a message of hope, a reminder that God uses bad times, like the times of Stephen, to bring about new beginnings. In the fourth and fifth century, people living on the Chalian Hill were, for the most part, well-to-do Romans who thought that their city was impregnable. The barbarian invasions shocked them. And many of them were also Christians from a church that was thriving. St. Jerome and St. Paula, wealthy woman from the Chalian Hill, were building a new church based on the scriptures. The family of St. Gregory the Great, dedicated Christians, were part of that church. So they had to wonder where God was in all of this. Why was their great city, why was their vibrant community threatened so much? These questions prompted Augustine to write the city of God. But then something happened. Near Jerusalem in the year 415, there was a claim that the grave of Stephen was discovered. So relics of Stephen were sent to all parts of the Christian world, especially places like Rome. And yes, the barbarians were coming. Rome was in danger. But it wasn't going to be the end. Something new was going to happen. Jesus had shown and Stephen had shown that death can be a beginning. Stephen's story is told repeatedly in this church, especially around the main altar where his relics must have been kept. Then stories of other martyrs are told in the art of this church, beginning with Jesus, Peter and Paul. The art tends to be gruesome and realistic. Boiling oil is poured on John the Apostle. Ignatius of Antioch is eaten by lions. But the art makes a point. Death is not the end. So this church dedicated to the martyr Stephen tells us to hope, especially when times are grim, when institutions seem to be failing and cultures are changing. In times of death, we believe Jesus brings life.